Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I have not done any Maverick videos in quite a while. And the reason being, I've been working on the Nacho Fox Body Mustang. Yeah, we've had parts issues and getting stuff, stuff not working. <laughs> we've had a real blast. But we'll be posting videos on the Mustang. But this video is particularly or should be of interest to all of you guys who have not gotten your marriage and those who have had theirs for a short time. Because on this video, we're going to be talking about uh, all of the things on my Maverick that have not done well and all of those things that have done excellent. So, I thought I would do this while I'm taking my wife to get some ice cream on $2 Tuesday. So, hang on for the ride. Camera's bouncing around a little bit. I don't know if that's going to come out in the footage or not. I'm using my bouncy camera mount. Maybe I'll change that mount. Hang on for a few seconds, guys. So we are going to get some ice cream. I've been telling my wife that we're going to get some ice cream for quite a while. So when we get there, I'm going to show you guys what ice cream I'm talking about because somebody's been telling me for a long time, go out to this place to get some ice cream on $2 Tuesday. So we're either going to be very happy or disappointed. Speaking of which, are you going to be happy with your Maverick? Am I happy with my Maverick? And I have to say an emphatical absolutely. I've had my Maverick since November of 2021. It's a 22 model. One of the first people that got theirs in my area. And I ordered it um, July the 4th of 2021. So yes, I didn't have to wait very long for mine. Unfortunately, you guys have been waiting for yours probably a very long time. And at this very moment, we have 17,337 miles. So what has broken during that time? First, before we get to the stuff that has broken or maybe not met uh, or been up to standard, let's talk about the recalls that we had in the first run of Mavericks. First recall that we had was the, the fact that somebody drilled holes in the gas tanks when they cleared out the holes after they sprayed in the bed liner. Uh, I guess that was after it came through the factory at the place who was commissioned to put in those bed liners. Yes, that was an issue. And if you want to hear about how bad an issue that was, go back and look at some of the earlier videos on that. <laughs> Funny as it may seem, tragedy always seems to do well on YouTube videos because those videos that I posted during that time uh, did better than any other videos that I posted at all. So folks wanted to know about the recalls. We had that recall uh, and we ended up having to take it to two dealerships. But like I say, go back to those videos and you will see exactly what happened there. Uh, the other recall, the airbag, the curtain airbag. I guess it would be the upper curtain airbag was not a real big issue. We took it to the dealership for that. And they, you know, took the order for that and then we left it for a day and it was repaired. Obviously, or not obviously, but actually I was told that that is not a very quick job that has to be done. Everything has to come down. Everything was put back correctly as far as I can tell. And so far we have had no other issues with that. Of course, you don't know until the airbags come out, right? But that's just one of those things. One of the first runs of the Maverick. And yeah, there's always going to be those things that kind of go bad. Uh, what else did we have go bad? Um, I think that was the last recall. Any other recalls you remember, honey, on this? I don't think we had any other recalls. Uh, but the other thing that we had uh, that actually stopped working was our USB port. Of course, we do not have uh, wireless connectivity, uh, you know, for your phone. 
it will pair to your phone, but I'm talking about as far Android Auto. Yeah. So my USB port stopped working and I did have to take it back. They ordered one and they repaired that. Uh, it wasn't bad, it was a pretty good deal. Um, the only other thing that I can think of that uh, either broke or needed to be fixed. Um, and that's probably, well not probably, it was my own doing uh, with the aftermarket um, hood struts. It's going to cause your hood to not fully disengage from your two-stage um, hood latch bolt. Nothing you can do about that. Usually when I go to have my car uh, oil changed, my Maverick oil changed or serviced of any kind, I'll either undo them or open the hood before it goes in and tell them, hey, don't mess with my hood hinges, my, um, not hood hinges, my hood struts. Um, because it is one of those things it just does. I mean, I lube the uh, the hood hinge, I mean the hood latch under there, and sometimes it won't stick, but because the pressure from those um, um, hood struts uh, puts pressure on that that normally wouldn't be there, it causes the hood latch to not fully disengage. It's not a big deal for me, I don't, it's not a deal breaker. But I mean, hey, if you don't want it to do that, then take the hood struts off. I'd rather have the hood struts than not have the hood straps. And even if I have to have uh, every now and then, it stick on me. Uh, any other issues? None. There are people who have commented that their paint jobs were thin and terrible and all that. I do not have one single scratch on my have the upgraded um, hot pepper red not that they put any more paint on it than any other color that was a optional color that I paid a I want to say it was like three to five hundred dollars extra for that but that's no big deal um, I can't think of anything else that I had any issues with and it rides like a dream uh, of course I've done some modifications uh, to mine and I will tell you guys about that in this video as well so um, one of the things and I'll show you in this picture that I'll post right now I lowered my Maverick some people are like why did you lower it uh, because I wanted a, a better handling uh, and I love the stance of a lowered Maverick Many people ask me uh, in the videos, um, what do I think about lowering the map? Well, I use the Eibach uh, lowering springs. We was two inches in the front and three and a half in the back lowered. That too is in the video if you want to go back and see that. I am pleased. Uh, I do not even have any regrets at lowering my Maverick. Are there... Um, issues or things that you should be aware of and that is yes one your front is going to be lower you have to be more careful when you're going in out of very steep angles driveways it's not it's not really insanely low so like i say it's not slammed but it is a bit lower that and also if you have two or three people in the back you got to be careful about going over real big bumps you know I mean, nothing small. I mean, but I'm talking about a big, say, you know, we went over like a, a railroad track and it, and it kind of bottomed out a little bit. It wasn't terrible, but you do notice it because it is lower. Uh, other than that, uh, one of the things that some of the other people who said about lowering their Maverick, and I don't know if the noises just went away or I just don't notice it anymore, but it was noticeable after I lowered it. Um, when I would make a turn or turn my wheels to the left or right, there would be a noticeable slight little bit of, of noise and it's hard for me to describe that noise other than if I had never heard it, you know, I, I had never heard it prior to lowering the vehicle so I, I knew it was kind of related. I don't know if things were at a different angle or what, but it, you would hear like a clunky clunk clunk, you know, just a little bit. Nothing nothing harsh and it was actually you know something you just kind of ignored after a while and I noticed here recently like wow I don't 
hear that noise anymore. So, yeah, there's a little, you get a little bit of noise from lowering it because you, you're lowering a vehicle down lower than the factory designed it to, to be. And yes, it's gonna be a little bit noisier. Uh, the other thing we did was um, changed out our 17 inch wheels. We now have 19 by eight and a half all the way around. And I will say that is one of, if not the best modification other than lowering that I have done. These tires, compared to the factory tires, these are miles ahead. If you want to know what tires they are, go back and watch that video. But these are Nittos, and they are all season performance uh, style radio. And whether it's wet, whether it's slippery, slick, whether the highway is bumpy or flat, these tires are amazing. They are quiet. They ride very, very good. And the traction is 100% better than the factory wheels and tires that I have. The only drawback to these wheels and tires is that they are uh, heavier than the standard uh, wheel and tire package. I had the painted um, wheels and the uh, Continental uh, Contact or something other uh, tires um, on there. And they were okay, they were quiet, but traction wise, even when we had them in the snow the first year that we had them, uh, they were not good. They, were, they felt very, um, sketchy even in the rain these when it rains i don't even hardly have to slow down because these tires that i have on here now grip very very well so other than that uh we are very happy we have the magnaflow exhaust on this has not made any more noise than when originally when i originally installed it and i love it it's not too loud when I hit my start button in the morning, you can hear it out there. You can hear the, the low rumble tone. Uh, it's not droney on the highway. Matter of fact, it's quiet enough that you can drive this car every day and after you've gotten used to it, it's it's not loud at all, but it just feels and sounds like a uh, somewhat better performance uh, exhaust. Haven't had any um, uh, issues as far as it's scraping or anything. One other thing, we did have an incident and it caused some damage to my Maverick, uh, and that would, it was no cosmetic or anything, but one night we were driving in a storm and a tree fell right down in front of me. I had to drive over it. It wasn't really big, but a branch um, hooked the panel underneath of the vehicle, those aerodynamic uh, panels that cover and make everything smooth underneath. Uh, and put, I didn't realize it at the time because I got out and looked at it and everything seemed fine but I noticed something was looking like it was hanging down and when I inspected it, um, it had put a, my wife is grabbing hold of the, um, the crash bar like she's afraid we're going to crash. <laughs> it, had put, it had put a little hole, uh, I guess about the size of a, I don't know, Maybe about four by six. Took a chunk out of that, so it was hanging down. And I did attempt to repair it with Gorilla Tape. And every time I would look under there, the Gorilla Tape would have. That stuff, it didn't really stick well to those panels because you, you guys know it's made out of like a composite type material. And the tape just wouldn't stick to it. So what did I do? I ended up just taking and cutting the piece off that was hanging down. So now there's a hole under there. I probably should replace that panel, but who knows how much it is or even if they can get one right now with all the shortages that they have as far as parts. So I'm tickled, I'm happy, I'm absolutely ecstatic that I bought this Maverick because it has done 
everything that I needed it to do and so much more. I've been able to carry my family in it. Uh, it's been rock solid, reliable. I haven't had any issues other than those things I mentioned about the recalls earlier. All of the modifications that I have made to this that you can watch the videos, the earlier videos, and I am satisfied. I don't have any modifications that I have done that I said, oh man, I wish I hadn't done that. There are none of those. The interior carbon fiber pieces that I put on in an earlier video, they are still looking like brand new. They really make the vehicle look better inside. I'll show you a picture right here. Seat covers are seat covers. What do we put seat covers on to protect the seats under so that they don't, and these are cloth seats, so yeah, I put the seat covers on because I wanted to keep the seats in great condition. One day I'll pull these seat covers off. I don't know why my wife is so, every time there's somebody hits the brakes in front of us, she's grabbing the, the handle, okay? So for all you uh, guys out there who know what I'm talking about, you know the little handle on the side there? You know when you're driving and, you, and your wife thinks you're gonna run into something? She's been grabbed that about three times during this ride. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm pretty sure, matter of fact, I'm 100% sure she and I have been married for almost 24 years and I have never had an accident with her in a car, but yet she's still holding on. I'm thinking maybe she's just getting a little older and, and she's, uh, uh, I don't know, it's the end of the day, but she's going to be all right. I won't show her face right now because she's probably looking didn't have to tell them that <laughs> but one thing I will tell you about lowering the vehicle and the fact that these tires and wheels are heavier it did affect my gas mileage prior to putting these wheels and tires on I was able to get upwards of 37 miles a gallon on a highway trip uh, on you know relatively light traffic and a mixture of hills and you know straight pretty much straight highway drive. I have never been able to get that with the current wheels and tires that I have. Have I been close? Yes. I have gotten between 33 and 35 miles to the gallon and the reason for it I believe is the fact that um, the weight of these tires and wheels is more than the factory setup and the amount of energy that is expended getting up to speed um, you're putting a little more energy into it so it affects it a little bit not much still not enough for me to even be concerned she almost grabbed the handle again guys i don't know the light was yellow so I'm, I'm gonna take her to get some of this ice cream. I'm not gonna have that or get any chocolate because I think she's a little hyper to see. <laughs> but yeah, the Maverick has been great. Um, what other modifications? We did put the hood stripes on. Those are holding up well. The um, bug deflector, it used to have a little Ford insignia on the one side of it because it did get that through uh, Ford accessories. Uh, the heat, the very first year, uh, I came out from work in the heat from the sun. The, the Ford emblem had slid down to the side and eventually it just fell off. Other than that, the, the bug deflector is doing its job. Uh, the Tonawa cover is starting to look a little older. It's still doing its job. I will say this, it does not seal as good as it did as far as uh, rain and, and you know high, I would say like, if I use a high pressure car wash, uh, you know, like I have the um, uh, the sprayer, uh, water will seep under just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit in the corners, which is no big deal. I still would buy the same Tonawa cover, that's the Gator FX, if I had it to do all over again because I am impressed with it, it has been very, very, very good. 
bed liner has held up very well. I've hauled everything from tree limbs, sofas, boats. I've held and hauled it all. Uh, no longer have the boat. All you guys who watched the video of me um, installing the winch in the bed. That's another video you can check out. Um, that worked out pretty good. I did find that it wasn't really necessary to have a winch uh, because the trailer that I had for the little boat was short enough that it was just overkill to use the winch for that. But the winch is still back there in case I need to pull anybody out of anything. It's still back there and it's still functioning just as it did when I installed it. Now, one installation uh, that we decided not to do and that was here recently and I've been waiting for quite a while and I have been pondering it ox beam auxiliary pod lights which are basically driving lights slash fog lights and I showed you guys this in one of the videos I was going to install those but the problem that you have it has a separate switch and you can wire it directly to your battery cut your front bumper any way you want to and install those and that's good what you run into though is what one of the other uh, friends of mine who came to one of the Maverick Leaks um, found out that when you have the auto um, the auto high beams uh, they cut on and off they're basically automatic that's why they call them auto high beams uh, in Virginia if you wire those pod lights to your Maverick they're mounted up front when they're not in use they have to be covered up and not only that when you go through inspection uh, when they turn on your lights if you turn on your pod lights as soon as they hit the high beam they're supposed to cut off not turning it off with a switch but they're supposed to automatically cut off and with the force scan and everything that's involved with trying to get that to work for me it just was not worth it didn't want to, I, I, it came down to this, I did not want to cut my stock bumper and try to fit those in and make it look halfway decent. It's either going to look great or it's going to look stupid. The manufacturer and the people who contacted me to do that video asking, hey, why, what's going on? And, and I told them, uh, yeah, I just don't want to modify my vehicle that way. I don't want to try to figure out or take it to the dealership and how to make it work with the um, foreskin and all the things that's involved with getting it to cut off when the high beams are engaged. So that's where we left off with that and I'm actually going to be sending those back to the manufacturer. It's funny though how they'll send you some stuff and they're like, hey, try this on your channel and they're, they're going to to give it to you. Uh, and yeah, I had some things that, that I did on this channel that, that were sponsored by manufacturers. But in the event that you don't use it, then you've got to pay to send them back to them. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to send them back. Can you send me a label so I don't have to pay to send them back? But um, hmm, that's one of those things. And that's all I have to say about that. So, that's pretty much going to wrap up most of this video. All the other things we did, seat covers, uh, weather tech mats, the weather tech mats have been awesome. They've done exactly what they're supposed to do. They've protected our carpet. Um, what else? The tailgate um, damper, I guess that's what you call it, where it makes the tailgate go down slow. That has worked flawlessly. Any other modifications? I don't say I don't have any problems with any of the other stuff we did. Of course, those uh, splash guards. Still not really liking the way those things look. I guess it's just me, but um, you know they are what they are. They do what they're supposed to. They're supposed to protect the paint from getting mud splashed up on the side of the car. So worked out well. All of my carbon fiber exterior pieces that other people said they couldn't get them to stick on, 
I, once I redid those, and you can see the video of how I did them, uh, they have been flawless. They have not fallen off. I washed them with a high pressure wash and they are doing perfect. I haven't had any of them even loose. So very happy with those. And we are at the Battlefield Country Store on $2 Tuesday where we can get us some ice cream because my wife needs some ice cream because she needs to calm down because she's jumpy. And if I get her a couple of scoops of ice cream, maybe everything will be okay. You ready to get some ice cream, honey? She's not going to say anything, but I can guarantee you, I better get her some ice cream and get her home. Because we got both got to go to work tomorrow. But that's the video for this evening. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll be bringing you some more Maverick stuff as the time goes on. But right now, we are working on the Mustang. So stay tuned for that also. And we'll see you on the next video. Have a blast.